trying to survive on their own in the wilderness, there are lots of things Lehi and Ishmael's families probably wish they had. A barbecue. Fast food. An RV with a built-in shower. A celestial GPS showing us what direction we should go to reach the promised land. And one morning, as Lehi steps out of his tent, he finds exactly that. The Liahona is a metal ball crafted so intricately that they immediately know it must have come from God. What is that? What does it do? It's definitely not a barbecue. It looks like a super fancy compass, but instead of showing north and south, this will guide us to the promised land. Now the Liahona has two spindles and a space where God can write messages. It works based on the user's faith and obedience. All Lehi's family has to do is obey the commandments, and the Liahona will lead them straight to their destination. But do they? Well, as Alma later told his son Helaman, if Lehi and his people had only been obedient, they could have traveled to the land called Bountiful in as little as six months. But because they were slothful and forgot their faith in God, what should have taken months actually took eight years filled with hunger, thirst, suffering, and even death. Now it isn't like Lehi's family has a convenience store on every corner where they can stock up on food. Nope. In the wilderness, they have to depend on their own hunting, gathering, and farming skills to survive. That's why it's so devastating when Laman and Lemuel's bows won't shoot anymore. Ah, uh, shoot. And when Nephi breaks his fancy metal bow, his family is in serious danger of starving. Ah, you klutz! We're doomed. I tell you, doomed! Son, couldn't you have been just a smidge more careful? <laughs> Things are so desperate that even the normally faithful Lehi gets the hangries and begins complaining against God. So while Nephi doesn't have any Snickers bars, he does keep his cool and his faith. I know that because you commanded us to travel through the wilderness, you will provide a way for us to get food. So, any ideas? Now, God could have given Nephi a new bow the same way he dropped off the Liahona to his father. But this time, he lets Nephi figure it out for himself. Okay, this might work. Showing faith in not just his heavenly father, but also his earthly father, Nephi asks for guidance. Ah, uh, father, where do you think I should hunt? And Lehi is humbled by his son's faith. Oh, son, I think I need a moment. Oh, try up there. Armed with his simple weapons and an enormous testimony, Nephi is able to feed his family. Ah, uh, we knew you could do it, little bro. Yeah, I would have helped, but, uh, yeah. Yes, followers of Christ know that with Him, we can control our agency powers to act and not react, especially when things get tough and we're tired, hangry, or feel like all is lost and have no idea how to move forward. But instead of giving in, we can ask for more love, patience, and kindness. So eventually, Lehi and his family do reach the land of Bountiful. Oh, but Nephi's trials are far from over. God commands him to mine ore, build tools, craft a ship, and deal with his brothers threatening to mutiny again. And you can watch much more of this story on Living Scriptures streaming. Through it all, Nephi shows us a perfect pattern for facing our own challenges. First, be ready for God's call. Second, examine our resources. What do we have and what do we need? Third, come up with a plan. And most importantly, ask God for help, as He'll show us how to build our lives after His manner. <laughs>
from time to time. Once they reached the promised land, Nephi mined ore to build plates on which he recorded the history of his people. Do you understand now what Moses was trying to teach us? Not exactly. Well, it might be time to break out the Isaiah writings. Stay tuned. Now, Lehi and his family receiving the Liahona is super awesome. But you know what would make it mega awesome? To have our own Liahona. And we can. It's the Holy Ghost. And it comes after we're baptized and confirmed. By the way, also super awesome are patriarchal blessings, personal written instructions full of guidance, things to watch out for, comfort, and peace. Now, being obedient doesn't mean no hardships, but like Nephi, God will give us the faith, patience, instructions, and intelligence to do whatever He asks of us. Did you know that Living Scripture Streaming, kind of like Netflix for LDS families, provides the funds to create these line-upon-line -line cartoons? Every subscription helps make them possible. It's a family-friendly streaming service that only lets in virtuous, lovely, and praiseworthy films. And yes, we have over 5,000 of them. You'll not only be able to teach with our classic animated Book of Mormon, Bible, and Hero movies, but almost all fun and inspiring Latter-day films are there too. Get your free trial right now and click the link below. And the best part is, you know you're not only funding these videos, but also shows like Latter-day Kids, Latter-day News, and many more. Well, hello there. I'm Matt Brown, Living Scripture CEO and creator of Line Upon Line. I want to thank all of our wonderful Living Scripture streaming subscribers who pay for our sizable production costs, allowing our team to professionally teach hundreds of thousands in fun and engaging ways. Now, if you're not yet a subscriber and you'd like to watch these at the beginning of your study, a week before they're on YouTube, just click the livingscriptures.com link below to try watching these and 5,000 other family-friendly clean shows for free. We hope this presentation has helped to bring you a little closer to Jesus Christ. Now it's your turn to study and continue to learn line upon line. So go read your scriptures. 